We're thinking of getting it though. We're really into it. We're looking online. We're trying to figure oh out the God. like I told you, the price of skyrocketing. It's very, very expensive. But we found one the other day that was $750. So we rushed there to see it was 10 months old and I could not hold the thing. It was a lion. It was pulling me through the park. I would have been the only one that would have been able to actually move that dog around and, and walk him. We came back home and we didn't get a dog. Everybody was really bummed, really disappointed. So we're asking a lot of people around that have dog, what do they think about their situation? How do they love it? And so far it's been really positive. Anyway, I don't know. Comment down below, how do you feel about it? A lot of work, yes, but it brings a lot of joy too. So that's the thing. Kind of respect. A pug mixed with something I don't know. Is it like Rosie? Yeah. Uh, in my but imagine, it's bigger I mean, than Rosie. How did you find the dog? Is my dad and mom brought me like to Quebec, and he was like the only guy. And there were, and all of his family were all sisters. There were no. so many of them. One month later, he was like grown up, so we took him. I mean, he started to poop everywhere. He's like, he was like a rocket, like. <laughs> Poop. If we get a dog, how do you want to call it? Rosie 2.0. <laughs> Rosie 2.0. Do you think we should get a dog? Yeah, yes. I think you should definitely get it. Once he's done potty training, what he does is like, he sleeps with the one who spends most time with him. If he's like scared of you, well, he's going to sleep with you. You know, he's you're the You're like one. the leader. Yeah, the leader. But so you don't think it's leader. too much trouble to walk no, him around and no, like... Well, no, it's actually good because my backyard is full of poop. But because we like pick it up once a month, so we don't need to pick it up every day. Oh, uh, but instead of walking him around, and you just go to the backyard. Then, That's well, good pick so your advice to us would be, yes, go ahead and get the dog. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not a really nice day today here, but if you're not from Montreal, there's a mountain in the middle of the city. You can drive your car up and then have a really nice view. Unfortunately, it's raining. It's been two days that I want to bring them there. I wanted to fly the drone and then have a nice view of, of the cities. I don't think that's going to be possible because of the rain and the wind, but uh, at least if we can make it there and have a nice view. That'll be something fun to do. All right, Gab, you're going to walk Mimi yep. to her house? Yep. All right, bye, Mimi. Bye. He's so cute. He's adorable. Why you like the door? They're not coming back inside. <laughs> She's not even under the umbrella. <laughs> She's just spreading. He's like, all right. Whoa! Oh no! It looks like I'm sitting in that freaking sleeping bag with that coat. No, it looks like I'm sleeping in a sleeping bag with a pyjama underneath. It's windy and it's cold. We're gonna get to the first place because there's two of them. So we're gonna see the first place that gives us right straight access to the city. So we're gonna see all the skyscraper and everything of Montreal. And on our way back, we're gonna stop at the other one uh, where you can stay in the car and have a really nice view. <laughs> We're closing in the location we're going, guys. The wind calmed down a little bit. I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to fly the drone if the wind calmed down, but then it's back again, so. I don't know. Or for people who live in Montreal, this is our Central Park. It's a place where you go run, hike, all kind of playing in the snow in the winter. And on top of it, you get a nice view on the city. How are you doing? It's good. Are you cold? Yes. Yeah? You only have one glove? Yeah, Gabby has the other glove. Gabby has the other. Be careful not to fall on your face, it's gonna hurt. No, look at that squirrel in the tree there. He's cutting the wind. He's got a hard time, dude. Yeah. <laughs> He's up a small bridge. Like, the wind is like pushing him left and right.
there is a crazy wind today here. A lot of rain. It's getting cold and colder and colder. It was fine on the way here. It stopped raining for a while. There was no windy anymore. It was not windy. But then we got here and like, look at this. Dude, the lens is also really dirty. Oh gosh. There's water on everything. Do you like it? Uh -huh. Is it pretty? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You never saw Montreal like this, huh? It's yeah, first time, huh? Yeah. How do you call that? Point of view? Belvedere? Whatever. We're done with that one. We're gonna go see the other one, but the other one's a little bit different. We're gonna stay in the car. We're gonna have a nice view. Uh, it's not as big or busy as this, but it's more long. Like, you can see really far. Uh, we're also gonna see the Olympic Stadium from the other side, which we can't see from here. So we're on our way there. Alright, so the Packers are getting that meat, but we are getting... Found this recipe online. It looks so good. It's balsamic vinegar with so garlic strong. and like basil and oregano. It smells so strong. Do you like the smell? No. So you're supposed to have olive oil in it. We decided yeah. not to put olive oil because we're like on this no fat thing, but so... So you just put it on top and you let them marinate for a yeah. while. Ooh, look at that. I think it's going to be really and good. Then, and then we can't eat the burger buns. No, so we're going to have like toasted bread, I think we decided. Oh no, this is so good. Did you taste it? Not yet. Oh my God. Is it? Oh, that's good. That's oh going to be God. really good. Okay. We can't eat those buns, right? No, this is Because they're 2.5 gram, but we can't eat all this. We're gonna cook the mushroom the same way we cook the regular meat. I'm gonna heat it more than cook it, I guess. Slap it between the bread, portobello mushroom burger. Start the music. again yeah. we didn't think about it we should have cut the little stem off oh yeah we like forgot this. to remove that part that's gonna be awkward okay, when we eat we it. Cut it okay after let's cut it after yeah it doesn't matter these are yeah they're hamburgers <laughs> they're cooked i think they're cooked, I think they're cooked. Oh. Oh. Really sorry, I actually forgot to film our dinner, but it was very, very good. Excellent sandwich with a portobello mushroom. The only thing though, the black thing underneath the mushroom, you have to scoop them out before you cook them and remove the stem. It's gonna be better because the, uh, what is what is the black thing do? Oh, it makes your food really black and dirty. So you wanna remove that part before you cook it and remove the stem, it's easier to chew. But it was super good, we're gonna do it again, guys. Absolutely, do I love it better than a burger? I think it's pretty much 50-50, but I know that this one's really, really healthy. Thanks for being here, guys. We love you. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to give us a good thumbs up. It helps the algorithm to propose our video to other people. Remember, never give up.